Hi everyone, it's Muriel. I'm here with a design team project for Craft Supplies 1. I wanted to show you this um, little purse vault that I created some time ago. I was in a challenge. The challenge was to create something using three different laces. So I created this, um, what I call my key vault. It houses all of my Michael's keys. You know those keys. So I put them all in here. And I happen to have another pouch, so that's what I altered for my project. So let me show it to you. It's a little bit different. It's a little more classy. Um, you know, you probably could wear this out to a wedding or um, to some kind of party. And it's all pink. So let me tell you what um, I used to create this. I uh, started out with the linen pouch from Michaels and it had the number one right here over the flower in black letters and I just thought I somehow had to cover that up. So I pulled out this satin blanket binding that I've gotten. I had in my pouch and you ladies have seen this. If you ever go thrifting, hauling at a thrift store and pick up packs of the seam binding you will probably get a pack of this blanket binding and I've used it before I used it on this pouch here I have it in beige and it's just right underneath there you can see it's shining it's perfect when you want a great cover-up so I had it in pink and basically when you cut it I'll show you what it looks like I have a piece right here it's all folded over okay so it has a beautiful crease so what I was able to do was to just cut it the width I wanted, laid it across the bottom of the pouch, and um, there you go. You got a nice finished edge, and then I just kind of hot glued it all the way across. So it really wasn't wide enough, so I had to use uh, a top part. So I cut another long strip, and then with the folded edge, I lined it up at the very top, and then I did a strip of hot glue across there. So then that had me, um, I had a empty uh, space between where you can see the linen um, from the bag. So I used some of this beautiful pink trim I have been wanting, dying to use from Craft Supplies 1. It's pink. Um, and if you hear my daughter, she's probably watching some crazy show. I apologize for her laughter. But this is some beautiful uh, pink lay, uh, trim from Craft Supplies 1, and I was able to use that. Um, I just went all the way around the back, and I kind of like started at this point underneath the flower and then stopped right there. So at that amount of space there, there is no lace, no trim. And then I went over the center here with this cute pink flower trim with a bling in the center. I can't tell you where I got it from, but it's very flexible. I mean, you can literally ball it up in a knot, which I really like about it. So it was perfect for uh, covering this, this little bag here. Then, of course, I created one of the flowers. Now, I did this one a little bit differently. I started out with my two-inch circle and using my two-inch glue dot. And then I uh, used this uh, pink, uh, like a organza and satin trim from Craft Supplies 1, and basically just kind of uh, pleated it all the way around the circle of the glue dot. That was my first layer. My second layer was some of the actual pink trim. I just cut one strip, laid it across this way, another strip, laid it across this way. So I like crossed it and then glued that down. Then I used a really cute doily that a friend had given me. I'll show them to you. They were in the vault and I used one of them. Very, very pretty. Very thin, but really precious. Um, that was the next layer of the flower. You can see that there. And then I used the about three of the pink rosettes that were given to me by Laura. Hi, Laura. So I used three and just cut them up, you know the method, and hot glued them down. And then lastly, I put a piece of um, eyelash trim. And, you know, I just grabbed the piece, did a circle like this, 
and then just kind of glued it down just like that so the fibers were sticking out all over just kind of glued it down and then use a um, really I, I can't tell you where I got it from I want to say it was Laura but it's beautiful bling um, flower center so that made up the flower then on the edge I wasn't finished so I had this beautiful bling trim that I purchased from Hobby Lobby some time ago it was 50% off um, see here it is mesh bling it is absolutely gorgeous so I just did that all around the top okay and through the back and uh, you can see I did some of the trim along the side here that pink trim and then my last little thing was to make a charm so this is a beautiful large pink diamond from craft supplies one and I have some uh, beads here from my stash and then these charms this fan and this cute little key is also from craft supplies one and I use one of my newest um, you probably can't see it but it's my braided um, let's see here here we go my braided uh, like closures um, I use that on the uh, clasp here so this is my little pink purse and I think that's what I'll call it my little pink purse it's really cute please take a look in your stash and see if you have any of this blanket binding this stuff is you want this in your repertoire this is like having flour in the pantry because when you need something to cover up this is it and I know they sell them in lots of colors, um, but look for them when you go into those uh, thrift stores and when you're junking and when you're hauling. And if you see it, I would certainly grab it. So I think that was all that it took to make this bag. So go ahead and visit uh, Craft Supplies 1. Julie's sale is still going on 15% off your purchase. You can't beat that. There's lots of um, goodies over there. As I mentioned, this this pink trim. She also has bling, these beautiful charms, and um, this beautiful pink uh, satin and like an organza trim. So thank you for visiting my channel. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this little pink purse. And we'll talk soon. Thanks, everybody.